This is an example of Rutherford's scattering experiment. We have a plastic disc that's raised in the centre and this represents the nucleus. We fire marbles down a chute and if they're close to the nucleus then they're deflected. If they're far away they just pass through basically unchanged in their direction. As they get closer to the nucleus they are deflected more and if they hit the nucleus head on then they're deflected back in the direction they came from. Try holding it at a slightly shallower angle. Like this? Yeah. Uh, does. That worked beautifully. Yeah, that was actually. Alright, so keep it at a shallower angle. Come back and do a few more over here. Alright. I think you're just getting them too steep. Ooh. Just mark that one's off the page. Shall we just put an arrow further up the top? Okay. So we just put an arrow further up the top to record it went off the page. And we'll keep a tally of those. Whoa! That one came straight back. Try that one again then. It's another one for the... Cool, that one came nearly back at you, yeah. yeah? In the experiment that Rutherford designed, he asked his students to take a small piece of gold foil. And in front of that, they placed an alpha source. Then, because the alpha particles don't travel too well in a vacuum, then this was enclosed in a vessel with a detector that could be moved around. The alpha particles fired at the piece of gold foil. Now, if the previous plum pudding model had been correct, the particles wouldn't have got any further than this. But what they found, the stu two students, Geiger and Marsden, was that most of the particles went through. A few of the particles, however, were scattered slightly. And occasionally, some particles were scattered a very large amount, almost back where they come from. What was actually going on can be shown if we draw out a little nucleus and going round this nucleus which is positively charged, it's made up largely in those days as they only thought of just positive particles, and going round this We've got some electrons going a long way out. As the alpha particles, which are also positively charged, go through the atom, most of them go through without colliding with anything. And this alpha particle is the sort of same sort of size as that nucleus, it's actually even smaller, and it's also positively charged. When they came quite close, they were deflected by the positive charges, light charges repel. And 
very occasionally what happened was that they came in almost directly at the nucleus and this positive charge of the nucleus and the positive charge of the alpha particle repelled the item and the alpha particle was sent back almost on the path it came in on.